Game HQ Sports. It's a freezing Monday evening here in New York City. So we're going to get our warm-up in so we don't pull any muscles. And more importantly, to get you closer to winning this game. I'm your coach, Lauren Gambino, and what a weekend it was for some of our favorite sports. Oh yeah, the Australian Open kicked off for the first of the four Grand Slam events and finished with Naomi Osaka dominating and giving Japan the first number one world ranking. Yeah, she looks just a little bit happy, huh? How about the Joker? He also took home another Grand Slam down under, making this his record seventh win at the Australian Open. Over in San Diego, let's take a look at our guy Justin Rose. Yes! He won the Farmers Insurance Open as well with 21 under champs all around, right? Could it be you this game? Let's see. So many different sports are gearing up. So we asked you on Twitter, at HQ Sports, what big sporting event are you most looking forward to in 2019? At B Fitzgerald 996 says WrestleMania. Oh yeah, who watched Royal Rumble last night? At T Dickens 13 says opening day and of course March Madness. At Ashby Land says the Stanley Cup Finals. All good ones. But you know me, my favorite is always going to be the Super Bowl. And luckily, I don't have to wait much longer. And so to celebrate, we're having a special HQ Sports Super Bowl game at 6 p.m. Eastern Time this Sunday, right before kickoff of the big game. We'll be playing for points and cash, so you won't want to miss that one. Speaking of points... Have you heard that HQ Sports is now included in HQ Season 2? Yes, you can win points and level up with Coach LG2 as I get you closer to that big jackpot. The more points you earn from getting questions right, the faster you can level up, which means you can get a free pass on questions. If you get to level 10, that means you're safe in the game through question 10. That means you only have to answer a couple more questions, giving you a great chance at winning the whole game. You also earn points from sharing your levels on social media and from winning any HQ trivia game. For every point earned, the jackpot gets bigger and bigger until the season finale, which is February 28th. So let's take a look at what that jackpot is right now. Okay, oh, 36,111. All of one, that's lucky, guys. Make sure you have your extra lives and erasers to help keep you earning all those points. And to help you out, if you win tonight's game, then you'll just be splitting a little old prize of 10 million points! Yeah, 10 million points. That's a whole lot of points. That might make it just a bit easier to level up, right? Yeah, just a bit. And hey, don't forget to be a good teammate and get your friends in this game right now. Swipe right on the screen to access your friends list. Tap on the hand next to your friend's username. That will send them a push notification to let them know, hey, bud, hustle on in here. We're about to get started. You gotta get into HQ Sports. Okay, team. Huddle up. Come on, bring it in. To the over 126,000 players. Listen, it's now or never. Rub some dirt in it and get out there. Let me see what you got. Break. Round one starts right now. Americans are estimated to bet $6 billion on what upcoming sports event? Super Bowl, Quidditch Cup, or chess boxing finals? Oh yeah, that's a lot of money. And it helps that the Supreme Court legalized sports gambling last year, but even without that, Pro football is big business, especially in Vegas, especially during the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl, of course, is our answer on round number one. 107,635 of you knew that one, but I'm going to give you a pro tip because I care about you. When it comes to gambling in Vegas, Vegas usually wins. And if not them, it's me. Round two. What area of the baseball field typically contains the greatest number of fielders? Infield, outfield, pitcher's mound. 58 days till opening day. I already got my tickets for the Yankees. They're going against the Orioles, March 28th. Who's counting? Not me. Listen, the only time many players would be on the mound is hopefully for a visit to the pitcher. The answer here, of course, is infield, which has five players, including the pitcher, in a normal alignment. We're not counting the catcher. He actually lines up in foul territory. Infield is your answer here at round number two. 89,183 of you know your infield, and we're giving you round number three. Here it is. 
What NBA star just requested to be traded from the New Orleans Pelicans? Carmelo Anthony, Anthony Davis, or Damian Lillard? Hey, Magic Johnson, I'm looking at you. Make your move, my man. Until then, everyone, beware of the brow, especially when it wants to trade. This is potentially one of the biggest NBA trades of all time, depending on what team lands. Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is your answer here at round number three. Trade talk everywhere. 77,871 of you have been keeping up with your news. Let's see if you can keep up with me till round number 12, but right now, it's four. Here it is. In club soccer, the period of time where players are allowed to change teams is called what? Trade deadline, transfer window, or super draft. What's it gonna be? Well, the super draft is what the MLS calls its draft. What makes it super? Not really sure. In club football, this period of time called the transfer window opens in the summer and in January. We only have a few days left before it shuts. Transfer window is the answer we were looking for at round number four. 77,833 of you knew that one. As we start getting into some tougher questions, here comes round number five. Which team was not in the most recent non-Warriors Cavaliers NBA Finals? San Antonio Spurs, Miami Heat, or the Oklahoma City Thunder? I know, we've been seeing it now for four years in a row. It's been the Cavs and Warriors. But with LeBron in LA, it seems like all of that is about to end. Yes, there we see it, 2015, 2018. But before that, the Spurs and the Heat. The Thunder appeared back when they had Durant and Harden in 2012, but they obviously couldn't beat the big three. Oklahoma City Thunder is the answer we were looking for here. 37,933 of you remember a time when it was another team. Oh, over 50,000 of you got knocked out here on round number five. We are only hitting our halfway point now. Can you hang in there? It's round number six. What NFL team won the greatest number of shutouts in a single postseason? Is it the Chicago Bears, the Baltimore Ravens, or the Pittsburgh Steelers? Halfway there, team. Hang on. Neither the Steel Curtain nor the Great Ravens defenses of the aughts ever shut out someone in the postseason. But the 85 Bears did it twice in three games. They shut out the Giants 21-0, Rams 24-0. They won the Super Bowl, but they did that 46-10. Duh, Bears is the answer here at round number six. Chicago Bears, 23,109 of you getting that one right. Knocking out over 30,000 of you again here at round number six. You know what that means when we knock out lots of players. Bigger prize at the end. Let's stay tuned, round seven. Before James Harden, who was the last NBA MVP to primarily shoot left-handed, Steve Nash, David Robinson, or Charles Barkley. Man, James Harden is special, huh? 22 consecutive games scoring at least 30 points. Well, each of these guys won the MVP, but only Robinson was left-handed. The Admiral won his MVP in 1995, and since then, it's been all righties until the beard. David Robinson is your answer here at round number seven. 10,394 of you getting that one right. Hey, I see you using your extra lives. Get back in here. There's going to be a lot of points to be had. Round number eight. Who was the defending Australian Open champion eliminated early in this year's tournament? Simona Halep, Sloane Stevens, or Caroline Wozniacki? Oh, spoiler alert here, they all lose. Well, if you listen to my intro, then you'd know who won. Halep will lose her number one ranking after falling to Serena, but she wasn't the defending champion. Wozniacki won last year's Aussie Open, but was bounced by Maria Sharapova in the third round. Caroline Wozniacki is the answer we were looking for here. 6,123 of you knew that one as we make our way into round nine. Serving it up, here it comes. Before Mariana Rivera, who received the highest percentage of Baseball Hall of Fame votes? Cal Ripken Jr., Babe Ruth, or Ken Griffey Jr. Still flying high from this news. Oh yeah. You know Enter Sandman is going to be played as Mo enters the Baseball Hall of Fame as the first ever unanimous choice. Eleven dummies didn't vote for the babe. 
Cal got 98% of the vote, but Griffey's 99.3732% was the record until just last week. Ken Griffey Jr., that record was just broken by Mo. 4,234 of you knew that one as we make our way into our final quarter. Here it is, round number 10. The only wrestler to win four Division I championships in four different weight classes attended what school? Iowa State, Ohio State, Cornell. Talk of the best amateur wrestler ever often centers around Ohio State's Kyle Snyder, who's still competing, and Iowa State's four-time champ, Kale Sanderson. But it's a different Kyle, Kyle Dake of Cornell, who did it in four different weight classes. Cornell is the answer that we were looking for here at round number 10, 1,497 of you knew that one. Team, we've only got two questions left. Do you think you can handle it? Here's round 11. Which of these countries boasts the greatest number of Indy 500 winners? Brazil, Australia, United Kingdom. Oh yes, the 103rd running of the Indy 500 is just a few months away to warmer weather in May. Oz had one, Brazil has four, but the UK has had five winners. Oh yes. Dario Resta way back in 1916, then Jim Clark and Graham Hill in the 50s, and eventually Dan Weldon and Dario Franchitti. United Kingdom is the answer here at round number 11. 526 of you getting that one right, knocking out another 1,500 here. You know what that means. You got to get past one question to win that pot. Can you do it? Yes. The match is all tied up, but... You are one point ahead. All you gotta do is ace this serve for the win. Here it is, round 12. Who is the oldest men's tennis player ever to attain the year-end number one world ranking? Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, or Roger Federer? It all comes down to this team. Well, we are near the end of the greatest era in men's tennis history. The oldest ever number one was Roger, who attained the ranking at age 36. But the oldest year-end number one is Novak, who got it at 31 last year. He just won the Australian Open this weekend. He's a champ. If you picked him, then you're a champ. 99 of you did. Congrats to our new HQ Sports MVPs. HQ Sports MVPs on the wall. 99 HQ Sports MVPs. I'm not taking one down, though. You're all staying up there because you're all winners and you're all splitting a prize of 101,000 points. Oh, my gosh. Dizzy gal. I know. That number makes me a little dizzy, too. But you know what, gal? You got it. You're taking home all of those points. JK Kersey 13. I'm looking at you. Yes. You're a winner, baby. Coney Island, Brooklyn. Hey there. Yeah, you're pretty local. Donenzo. I like it. 101,000 points is coming your way. All right, Kimbo39. Although you are an Eagles fan, I got to give credit where credit's due. And you got 12 rounds right. So congrats to you two. Congrats to all of you. You are the champions, my friends. You kept on fighting till the end. Sounds familiar. Anyway, celebrate. You've earned it. We play HQ Sports every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Follow us on Twitter to keep up with our schedule and to stay involved in any of our fun debates or any of our questions. Don't forget this Sunday, you know, Super Bowl Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern time, right before kickoff, we got a big game of our own. Cash prize and points going on. All right, I hope to see you then. Now, I'm off to Atlanta, you know, where the play is play and where they ride on them things like every day. Until next time, I'm Lauren Gambino. Remember to hydrate, focus, and keep your head in the game. Bow, now.